It's happening. I'm so excited, I don't know what to say. So, what's up everyone? Let's unbox this. My heart is pounding, really. Like I'm, I'm really shaking. Put this right there. All right. Let's put this away. Okay. This uh, might be surprising to you, um, but uh, yeah. So when I said the Ibanez RG five hundred and fifty is my new main guitar, I wasn't lying, but. This is my true new main guitar. The Arbenus is going to stay uh, because of the tram and stuff. I think by now you know the, the brand of this guitar. The uh, shirt is giving it away. Mark Line has been... I've had the most Mark Lines on the channel as a brand. And uh, I used to own one, which was, was fantastic, I think three years ago. But it wasn't a custom. And uh, Marco's guitars were just so impressive and incredible every time he sent me one for you review that I just thought you know I just I need to have one at some point and uh, so during lockdown we <laughs> yes we made a design uh, together and that's this guitar and it's so fucking light oh my god uh, you can see the shape already Okay, let's remove this to reveal the full glory. Oh my goodness! Back! Check this out. So, it's official, guys. I am finally again a Markline artist. Ooh, that switch is clicky. Ah, oh, lovely. Oh, I love it. So uh, there's no cover on here yet. It's somewhere in the package. Look at this neck. It is so dark. Oh, it's the finest roasted flame maple. And uh, oh. Mm. oh yes, oh yes. And it's 2.4 kilograms. 2.4 kilograms, guys. It's a feather. It's really a feather. So, uh, yeah, let's uh, find the back cover and uh, let's talk a bit more in detail about what we got here. Where did he say that the cover is? So I've just seen a couple of snippets, you know, random sneak peeks of the guitar, but I haven't seen it in its finished state. And, uh, oh yes. <sighs> yep. Yep. Two covers to choose from. So, uh, that's genius. So, a matching matte white. Ooh, really clean. Or roasted flame maple. <sighs> Uh, okay, let's put that away. I think I'm going for the flame maple. Just it's just too good to not have on there. So let's put that away too. So before I'm going to plug this in and hear the guitar for the first time with you guys, just going to quickly go over the specs so you know uh, what we're dealing with here. It's an older body, one piece, painted in this vintage white, matte, of course. One piece. Roasted flame maple neck, roasted flame maple fretboard with a veneer in between. This lovely crescent moon inlay uh, that's made of ebony. Stainless steel frets with that absolutely insane round fret edge treatment. Ooh, yes, this is going to be good. Pickups are the Banacle Silo set. So it's the uh, set of Rebea Massad. Uh, I'm really looking forward to how, how this pickup sounds. It's my favorite and the most inspiring guitarist that I know. 
So I thought, you know, when going for custom builds, I want to try these pickups in the guitar. So that's going to be interesting. Custom made bridge by Mark Lyon. Uh, really looking fancy and uh, looking forward to, to use this and how it feels and stuff. I'm going to use this exact bridge on my own headless build as well. So yes, it's going to be another video. Five way switch, master volume. Yeah. And of course, multi-scale, 26 and a half inch to 25 and a half inch. <sighs> let's press record. So uh, let's tune it up first. Yeah, the tuners are not quite super easy to turn and uh, Marco did warn me about that. So it's not a surprise. Yeah, it's quite hard to turn. But yeah. Okay, all right, should be in tune. Okay, it's really, really loud acoustically. So yeah, I hope you can see the guitar. All right, might be possible that the guitar is going out of tune because it's still, you know, getting used to the climate here in my room. Let me drop the camera. So. There's, there's really a lot of clarity there. They feel like they're not really high output, the pickups. I had to turn up uh, the gain on the PRS, or maybe it's because I have the boost not quite right. Let's check it out like this. It feels a bit dry, but I like it because it is really articulate. And there is that, that headless twang that all the headless guitars have. I don't know, I, I, I can't prove it scientifically, but it is there. Every single one had it. And I don't know why. If you have an explanation, let me know. I mean this. All right, guys, okay, I'm just gonna stop here. I'm going to sit down now, check this guitar out for myself, all the sounds, and uh, there will be a full video about this, and you will see this guitar a lot on the channel in the future. So, thanks so much for watching. Uh, hope you're looking forward to see some content with this guitar. I am looking, oh, it's so fucking I'm looking forward to use this for recording and demo videos and all the stuff. Feels really good so far. And I have just played, you know, three minutes. Yes, 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 yes. Thank you, Marco. Yep, yep, yep. <clears throat> Special thanks goes out to my patrons who are supporting me and my channel. Um, this is part of what you contributed to this channel. Um, yeah, so... Thank you for this. <laughs> Take care, stay healthy, and uh, I will see you very, very soon with this guitar. <laughs>